Unlike cars from other forms of motorsport like NASCAR, DTM, and rallying that have closed cockpits, Formula One cars are unique. F1 is the pinnacle of motorsport, and it has cars that are well known for their open wheel and cockpit nature. Why don't F1 cars have closed cockpits? Stay tuned as we dig deeper into today's topic. To begin, let's look at how F1 cars have looked since the sport started and their current look. Since its inception in 1950, F1 cars have had an open cockpit design, and this is one of the reasons for the sport's fame. Despite all of the evolution that's taken place over the years on these cars, this iconic design has remained unchanged. So what was the idea behind the design? In the event of a car catching fire or crashing on a track, the driver would easily get out of the car quickly. At the 2022 Austrian Grand Prix, Carlos Sainz's Ferrari caught fire towards the end of the race, and he quickly got out of the blazing car. He revealed that his race suit smelled a little bit like barbecue as the fire had already started consuming it. From the manner in which the fire had escalated in a very short period of time, what do you think would have happened if the car had a closed cockpit? Considerations by FIA to move toward a closed cockpit design have been there, but many in the F1 world claim that the special feeling triggered by seeing the drivers controlling the cars from the onboard camera above their heads would be lost. However, in 2018, a halo was introduced as a mandatory feature for the cars, despite there being so much hate towards it for many people. Next, what exactly is a halo? When you look at F1 cars nowadays, you see a new feature at the cockpit just above the driver's head, and that is a halo. The halo is attached to the car's carbon, carbon fiber body at three points, one in front of the driver's head and two behind it. It is a 9 kilogram titanium made of piece of tech that is strong enough to withstand the weight of a double-decker bus. When first introduced, there were concerns that it would hinder the driver's vision on track. However, after several preseason tests in 2016 and 17, it was proven that the middle front bar of the halo was in the perfect position and thin enough to fade out of vision when the driver is focused on the track ahead. On the other hand, the top ring can't be seen since it's well above the driver's head. What do you think about the car's look with the halo? Well, Red Bull's Max Verstappen thinks it is ugly. The halo, that will be very ugly. I'm not looking forward to that. Verstappen said. Both drivers and fans have said that it destroyed the sleek, streamlined look of the cars. Share your thoughts on the car's look in the comment section below. Why was the halo introduced? At the 2009 Hungarian Grand Prix, Felipe Massa had a near-death experience after a one-kilogram spring detached from Rubens Barrichello's car that was ahead of him and flew hitting him one inch above his left eye. This left him unconscious and with a severe head trauma. This unfortunate incident highlighted the driver's safety deficiency in the sport and necessitated conditions of a cockpit protection device. Options available for a closed cockpit were evaluated and tests conducted to determine which one was suitable. At the 2014 Japanese Grand Prix, Jules Bianchi was involved in a fatal accident that led to his death the following year. In 2015, IndyCar's Justin Wilson passed away after being struck by a piece of flying debris during the ABC Supply 500 at Ponco Raceway in Pennsylvania, United States. Opinions on the importance of closed cockpits to prevent more accidents in the future were changed by these deaths, despite investigations revealing that Bianchi's life wouldn't have been saved by the design. The now quiet closed cockpit debate was brought back to life since these deaths clearly showed how urgent something needed to be done. After careful considerations and tests on available options, FIA settled on the halo design. It's meant to prevent large objects from hitting the exposed driver's head and to add protection in case of car rolling. Why did the FIA settle on the halo design while there were other options for a closed cockpit design? In 2011, F1 engineers and the FIA conducted tests on two strong materials available as options for a closed cockpit that gave some crucial feedback. A polycarbonate windscreen was used in the first test, while a polycarbonate-made jet fighter canopy was used in the second test. In both tests, a Formula One tire was fired into the material's path at a speed of 225 km per hour using a specific setup. The windscreen deflected the tire above the driver's intended position, but was damaged awfully. The tire bounced away after hitting the jet fighter canopy, leaving minimal damage on the screen, making it the preferred choice. However, many questions regarding the closed cockpit design were asked. What would happen in the event of a fire? Would it prevent a marshal from removing somebody? Could drivers extract themselves, and would it be strong enough? Following these questions, alternatives were explored with similar tests being done on a roll hoop whose design is comparable to the halos. The project was, however, terminated due to uh, opinions that the feature was just too ugly. How effective has the halo been since its introduction? During the 2021 Italian Grand Prix, Lewis Hamilton and Verstappen collided with Verstappen's car flying over the top of Hamilton's car. 
The accident took place so fast that there wasn't enough time for Hamilton to move out of the way since the two vehicles were moving at high speeds. The wheel of Max's car missed crushing Hamilton's head with just a few inches were it not for that halo. Honestly, I feel very, very fortunate today. Thank God for that halo that ultimately saved me and saved my neck, Hamilton said after the crash. Romain Grosjean in 2017 said during an interview against the halo, speaking in other cockpit devices, saying, I've made myself clear from the beginning, we don't need anything. I'm against every halo or shield or whatever is in Formula One. I tried the halo last year. I hated it. At the Bahrain Grand Prix in 2020, Grosjean's car hit a metal barrier, making it split in two and to burst into flames. The halo split the barrier into two, allowing him to pass through it, leaving the halo bent. He only sustained burns on his hands. I wasn't for the halo some years ago, but I think it is the greatest thing that we've done for Formula One, and I wouldn't be able to speak to you today without it. Grosjean said after the accident, Verstappen, when talking about the crash, acknowledged that the Halo had saved Grosjean's life and said that he was happy about that. It's no doubt that the Halo has served its intended purpose on numerous occasions and is now regarded as one of the best safety features in an F1 car. Will F1 cars ever have closed cockpits? Since 2020, IndyCar has adopted the use of an aero screen that deflects off bigger components like car tires and springs. Due to the windscreen, it also protects the driver from small pieces of debris, as opposed to the Halo, which has open spaces that might allow pieces of these debris to slip through and strike the driver. For F1 cars, aerodynamics are essential, and the introduction of aero screens are going to affect how the cars handle because it's less efficient aerodynamically. With the addition of an aero screen, weight is going to be added to the center of the car, making it unstable. To manage the airflow over the car, major aerodynamic modifications would have to be done. However, the halo is more aerodynamically effective and suits the car better without requiring massive redesigning. Driving an F1 car at high speeds causes wind and breeze to flow past the driver, cooling them and maintaining comfortable temperatures around them for the duration of the race. When installed on the cars, the screen would help cause a cooling issue because it would completely obstruct the airflow, prompting the car's temperature to rise. Some drivers assert that the aero screen has reduced their visibility from inside of the vehicle, especially at night and during sunsets when light reflects off of the aero screen. Many drivers, though, argue that it hasn't affected their visibility to see outside of their vehicle. There's no denying the fact that indie car drivers are better protected by the aero screens than F1 drivers are by the halo. Do you think that the safety benefits of a closed cockpit design like that used in the indie car are going to lead to the introduction of such a design in F1 cars? Let us know in the comment section down below. The halo offers the driver's protection and it still gives Formula 1 cars their open cockpit signature look, unlike the aero screen. Considering how the Halo is being praised for its safety importance despite its poor reception at first, do you think the same is going to happen to a closed cockpit after it proves its importance in F1 cars? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section down below. Well, that uh, marks the end of our video for today. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing F1 content. Until next time, cheers.